Hey everyone. Uh, so I just watched my last video update, like I just rewatched it, and wow, wow, my my voice is changing slowly, but it's changing. And looking at like the preview of this video as I'm filming it, I look more masculine now than I did then, and that was four days ago. <laughs> um, I mean, it could also just be that I did my makeup really well. Um, I could, like, do uh, like masculine contour on my face to look more masculine until like tea starts doing its job. Uh, so good to be a good makeup day. Um, I'm still getting a hang of the masculine makeup. Uh, but yeah, I, I look pretty good today. I like that. Um, I keep saying, oh, I'm gonna stop that. It's a bad habit. So I've been thinking about transitioning and identity and things like that a lot lately, obviously, because I'm transitioning and that's kind of a thing that you do a lot when you transition. And I'm so afraid to admit What if I'm genderqueer, or, or some non, non-binary gender? I, I, I think I might be, because I don't... When I was a kid, and I was walking around and telling everyone that uh, I was a guy, that's what, I, that's what I was telling them. I was walking around and I was telling everyone I was a guy. I wasn't telling people I'm not a girl, unless they were saying, you're a girl, and I'd be like, no, I'm not. But the thing that was important for me that other people were aware of, or at least was harmful to me that people didn't, weren't aware of, was the fact that I'm a boy at the time. A boy, now I'm a man. Um, and it's different now. It's not like that anymore. Um, I mean, it's really important to me that people see me as a man, but not in the same way. Like, I... My gender is more not a woman than it is, is a man now now. Uh, when I was a kid, when I was younger, it was definitely like, I'm, I'm a boy. Like, that's, that's what I am. Um, but I don't feel that way. I don't think I feel that way. I feel like I am not a woman, and my feelings towards being a man are cool. Like, that'd be great. Man sounds good. I'm down with man. Man is, uh, not woman, so down. Um... <laughs> But I don't feel like that's right. Like, I shouldn't feel that way about my gender. I feel like I should feel as strongly for being a man as I do for not being a woman. And it scares me. It feels like I'm making a bad choice that I'm doing something I'm going to regret. Because why am I changing my body into something that will appear like that of a man's if my gender isn't man? And yet, I like transitioning. <laughs> I mean, I don't like the social aspects, I don't like what's hard about it, I don't like the negative side effects, but I'm really, really happy since I started testosterone, and I don't know. I just, I guess I need permission to know that I'm allowed to be this happy being on testosterone and being possibly non-binary, being a non-binary trans person, that I am an AFAB person, I was assigned female at birth, and I'm taking tea, and it might be so I will be read as a man, or it might be so I will be read as androgynous. I don't know. I would definitely rather be read as a man, for sure, but if I'm not, that's cool too. Like, I don't mind. <laughs> and I feel like that's, that's not a good sign. Like, I should, it should be of the utmost importance, like it used to be, that people see me as a man. And I think it's because I have the memory of what it felt like to be like, no, I'm a man, uh, and it being this urgent, desperate thing, uh, and it's not anymore. I, I don't, I don't care. I don't care. As long as I'm not a woman to you, great. Um, yeah, fuck. Like I, I started wearing women's stuff again. Like, I'm wearing, I'm wearing tights right now. Uh, I wore makeup, like, makeup yesterday, and I felt great. <laughs> you know, even better. I, I wore makeup yesterday, 
But I first I did this, this masculine contouring thing, so I looked more masculine. I even did like, wait, can you see it? I'm like sideburn and this mustache, a little bit, a little, subtle, subtle. Um, and then I put like my feminine makeup on top. And I absolutely fucking loved how I looked. So much more than I, I mean, okay. I don't, I don't know how to explain this. I feel so crazy because no one talks like this. No one acts like this is a normal thing. I mean, okay, being trans isn't quote unquote normal and that is common, but like even amongst trans people, I don't hear a lot of people talking like this. And it's frustrating because I'm like, yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I felt that I was more attractive with my masculine contouring and my facial hair uh, than and makeup than I was with just makeup or with none. I, love the way I look with this gender bendy thing and it's not like I liked the gender bendy part of it because like I'm pretty comfortable if I have to be binary that's cool it's just like it, it just looked good it just looked good and that makes me really excited because I, I worry a lot that if I when I transition and like I start looking like a guy to most people like I'm still gonna want to wear makeup and that's gonna suck because I'm also flamingly trans um, and how it all is trans pride shit, and like my, my jacket, my backpack, and like people are going to see me and they're going to think I'm MDF. Which is kind of, like I don't know how I feel about that. My primary like emotion towards it is uh, just fear, which is hor- and then sadness at that fear. Um, fear because I know that uh, male to female transgender people are treated a hell of a lot worse, and that makes me really scared. If people are going to mistake me as a trans woman, then I am going to be at greater risk. And so fear, first motion. And the second motion is just sadness at that fear. The sadness at that reality. Um, yeah, just how I feel when people give me male privilege or I feel like I am experiencing male privilege and I notice it, uh, that feeling. It's a lot like that feeling. It's where it's just like, no, don't, don't give this to me. I don't want this. This is not, this is just, God, why am I the recipient of society, the benefits of society oppressing someone? Like, that's not okay. That sucks. I hate that. Um, I don't want to be given things that women don't get. I don't want that. Or I don't want to be given things women don't, women don't get if they don't, if they want it. Um, yeah. And so it's the same thing with being um, mistaken for a trans woman. Like, it just, it just makes me so sad <laughs> that I have to worry about being perceived as a trans woman because that would bring more violence upon me. That's fucked up. Um, but, so that's kind of like the negative feeling about that. But then the positive feeling is like, uh, one, well, I guess the middle feeling is what the fuck ever, don't care, still trans, still thinking trans is wonderful, you can think I'm a trans what the fuck ever you want, because I'm still amazing. Uh, and then there's the, the positive feeling of like, you know, I'm a trans woman, they, like, I'm so convincingly male that you think that I started that way. Not started, y'all know what I mean, I don't mean, y'all know what I mean. <laughs> um, so we'll see how that works, because I'm slowly coming to terms with the fact that I'm not, I'm not, I'm not giving away everything. I'm not giving up everything. Everything that's feminine. I didn't hate literally everything that's feminine. That's fucking stupid. I hated most things that were feminine. I hated the things that were feminine and forced upon me, or I felt that were being forced upon me. Uh, makeup? Fuck yeah, makeup. I love makeup. Makeup is awesome. Like, you want to change your face? Change your damn face. You want to look. You want to look even better than you already do. And you look pretty damn good. Boom. It, it, it's fucking great. I love it. Um, and like, I don't. I don't really like a lot of women's clothing. Uh, so I'm really, really happy about that with the transition. Kind of feeling like I can get away with it more uh, wearing men's clothing. But I love these tights. I love them. And I'm still trying to figure out how to wear them. <laughs> like with a male face and hair and stuff and a male I guess outward expression and still wear tights and still be pursued as male but I'll figure it out uh I feel like tea is I'm just kind of all over here right now I don't know 
I feel like tea is starting to change my face. And it's definitely starting to change my voice, or at least it's changing the way that I hear my voice in my head. Like, you know how you hear your voice in your head, you don't actually hear it from your ears? Um, it sounds deeper. But my voice has always sounded deeper to me than it has, uh, like, been in reality. Like, I remember the first time I ever heard my voice being recorded, I was just so, so sad. Because it sounded so feminine. And I just have to get used to and deal with the fact that my mannerisms and my voice and my cadence, my pitch, my tone, and my manners, and my gesticulations and everything is just really feminine still. And that sucks. But um, making these YouTube videos and, like, watching them back after I make them and checking the way that I talk, the things that I say, uh, the way I move my head when I talk. Um, my gesticulations, my verbal habits, um, yeah, looking over all that and kind of seeing where I need to work on, what I need to do to pass better. Um, I want to make a video about passing and how problematic I think that concept is sometime soon. Look out for that. Um, yeah, I guess I'll do a TLDR on that right now. Uh, I've been thinking about passing a lot lately, uh, obviously because I'm transitioning. It's six weeks, by the way. Six and a half weeks, I guess. Um, wow, it's just crazy. Um, and I was thinking, like, so what do I... Like, as this... I just went this whole spiel about being non-binary and, and androgynous and stuff. Um, what am I trying to pass as? Like, I'm a man. And I don't like people thinking of me as a woman. Okay, we have those pieces of data. Um... But I want to wear makeup, and I want to wear tights, I want to wear occasional pieces of female clothing, um, and I want to be kind of feminine, kind of faggy, that's just, not I, mean, I want to be, I am, kind of feminine, kind of faggy, that's just how I roll. Um, fuck, sorry. So, am I taking tea and doing this entire transition so people will read me as... What? What am I trying to pass as? And the more I thought about it, the more I realized that the answer is a cisgender guy. And that kind of bugs me. It kind of bugs me a lot, actually. I, I jokingly call myself a radical transgender su supremacist because trans people are amazing um, and have superpowers, but I don't want to be a cis guy. I mean, I want to be a cis guy. <laughs> that's, that's kind of the point. Um, but since I'm not, I don't want to walk around pretending to be one. Like, I, I want to be seen as a cisgender man when stealth necessitates it, when safety necessitates it, when the law necessitates it. I don't know, when I need to do it. But I... I don't know. I'm really torn. On one hand, the entire fucking point is to be read as a cisgender man. Is to be a cisgender man, really. And then just take the things that I can't have and accept them. Okay. Um... So when do I... How... How is there trans pride? If I... My entire goal is to make it so that no one can tell that I am trans. If I'm trying to hide... Act, actively trying to hide that fact. Through medical intervention trying to hide that fact. That bugs me. Like, I, don't, I don't want to say that I'm passing judgment on anyone who is trying to do that. Fuck yeah, more power to you. Rock on. I hope you get there. Um, but for someone who is so flamingly fucking proud, I, I feel like that realization is one that helped me come to the realization that I began this video with, that I might just be non-binary. I don't know. This isn't like a declaration or coming out, but it's... Uh, yeah, it might be. I don't know. I do know I do know this that my gender has a couple categories it could be. None of them are a woman. None of them. None of them. And it's maddening because 
I don't know if I've been gendered correctly since I started transitioning unless I told the person that I was a man or that I was trans first. So when people see me and they're told, guess, um, they guess woman still. So that sucks. And really, I think that right there answers my question that I kind of started this video with is like, should I continue to transition uh, if I'm not male gendered? I don't know, but I might be. Um, yeah, yes, I should. Because the uh, alternative is everyone thinks you're a woman forever. Oh, and also you'll die as a woman. And I was... It, I've been, I've talked to so many trans people since this whole thing started. Oh my god, so many. Uh, on Reddit, on Instagram, on Tumblr, just all over the internet. Um, and Facebook too. And one of the... Well, a lot, there's been a lot of nice things about it, but like one of the nice things has been like hearing other people's experiences and stories and realizing that I'm not alone. Even with more, some of the more like weird, like esoteric kind of specific things. Like, wow, okay, that's apparently a common thing with trans people. Cool. Um, like, I think this one asked a question like, what was it that made you realize, like actually realize you were trans? And a lot of people said that they realized they did not want to die in the body that they had. When I when I was during my the deepest darkest days dark, dysphor, dys, deepest darkest days dysphoria, I um you know sobbing and I remember once I was I was crying my partner was holding me and he and I was just begging him like don't don't let me die a woman don't don't let me don't let it happen because I <sighs> choked up. I can I know I can survive I can deal living as a woman it sucks it's horrible it's hell but I can do it I even have done it but I'm still doing it people still think I'm a woman all of them but the thing I couldn't deal with is the finality of death that in the finality of death when everything is said and done and I have no chance left to change I would be a woman, and I could not leave behind a female corpse. And other people said the same thing, and that made me feel really good. I don't know why, but it did. It's validating, I guess. It just says that you're not crazy, or like your experience is normal for people like you. Oh God, this is getting emotional. I keep doing this. I keep like starting off really happy and upbeat, and then like getting to really like deep or heavy shit at the end um yeah um I gained 10 pounds I'm gonna switch it up real quick so I can end this thing on a happy note uh, I gained 10 pounds which is once again a mixed blessing uh I knew this was gonna happen on tea tea is uh, an anabolic steroid and it also increases your appetite so uh, when I lost 30 pounds this summer, that was really depressing and I hated it because I felt like it made me look even more feminine because I was just so scrawny and nudie. Um, but now, uh, I'm still those things, but, uh, I have some more muscle and some more fat on my gut. <laughs> that's, that's one of the things about tea I don't like. All of my fat goes straight to my gut. All of it. And it's just like, oh god. I, I'm not prepared for that at all. Um, but my boobs are shrinking. They're shrinking so much. It's so good. Um, my, yeah, you never thought you'd hear like an AFAB person talk about how stoked they are that their gut's growing and their tits are shrinking. <laughs> um, my binder doesn't really, my, at this point my binder is holding in my gut more than it's holding in my breasts. Like, I feel like there's actually more tension on my stomach than my tits. I don't get, actually, it's not even really holding in my tits at this point. It's kind of like a safety blanket. And to make them, like, less pointy, like, in the profile, they're kind of more like, there's a little, little lumpy thing there. Might be pecs, might be tits, you don't know. Um, yeah, I need to get a new binder. Or, like, start wearing something. Honestly, what I want to do is wear something less heavy-duty, because my breasts are so much smaller now. Like, I could probably get away with wearing um, a sports bra, and it'd be no issue. Except I don't like the idea of wearing a bra. 
like, if they made things that were like sports bras, but instead of only coming up to, like, here, they came down all the way, like my binder does, that would be great. Uh, maybe just buy a men's uh, undershirt, but, like, a size or two too small. Would work if they made un men's undershirts in any size smaller than the ones that I wear normally, but they don't. I guess boys, boy sizes. Uh, but yeah, so I'm not needing the binder so much anymore, which is great because it's so hot and so tight. It's so annoying. Uh, and it's also, it's like a piece of clothing that you have to wear every day. Uh, and so washing it's difficult because you have to wear it every day and you only have one. And also it's been like a hundred degrees outside. So yeah, I've been just like, when I get home, I've been taking it off because I'm just over that shit. <laughs> I don't get home. Like, when I first got it, I was wearing it all the time. I was wearing it to sleep. Like, it was, don't do that, by the way. Don't don't wear your shit to sleep. Don't wear your mind to sleep. Bad for you. you know, fuck up your ribs and fuck up your lungs. Um, but I did. And that was bad. Because uh, I was just so stoked on it. It made me so happy. So happy. I, I used to have D-cut breasts, believe it or not. And probably not. But that's okay. Because I'm, like, at an A at this point. <clears throat> Uh, like a lot of trans people, I had an eating disorder for a really long time. Uh, so that shrunk my breasts down like a good two cup sizes over the course of like a decade and a half. Um, and then with the 30 pounds that I lost this summer and then taking tea uh, after that, they've just flattened. It's, it's so cool. It's so cool. Um, I can like hold them in my hands now. I mean, why am I talking about my breasts on YouTube? I never thought I'm 27 years old and I never thought I would come to this point. <laughs> I used to, anyways, they're less than handfuls now, which is great. But I just think of like, what, what would my like nine year old self think if he saw this right now? I think he'd be mad that I waited so long. He'd be really mad. But I did it. Look at that. No, it's not, not, the video's not depressing anymore. I'm all smiling, all big and shit. Just thinking about how I finally made it. I'm finally here. You know, it's hard. And it's not, it's not bad. It's okay. I, I, even after I learned what transgender was, I thought I was going to have to hide it for the rest of my life. Because if I came out to anyone ever, then I would lose all my friends, I would lose my family, I would lose everything. Um, but things have gotten better. There's been more visibility for trans people, and so I was able to come out and transition. I thought I was never going to be able to. Um, yeah. I don't think nine-year-old me knew that I was going to be here. But I think nine-year-old me would have wanted me here a bit sooner too. Anyways, that's that's enough bullshit for today. As always, like, comment, subscribe down below. Um, yeah, and support this this channel. I guess it's called a channel. Support this channel. Um, say hi. Um, introduce yourself. Please let me know who's watching my shit. Um, and you can always check out my social media links also down below and yeah thanks for watching shout out signing out